Hey guys, it's Helen. And if you guys are new here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I also have TikTok where I've been posting my packaging videos and you can see some of that on TikTok. And check out my Instagram as well. Today, I'll be showing you guys how to make these key fob bracelets. They are really quick and easy to make. I'm going to show you all the steps. So keep on watching if you guys wanna see how I make this. And if you guys are interested in getting these, I have them in my shop so you can go and check it out. And I'll leave a link down below. The supplies that you would need to make the key fob bracelet is fabric, trimming scissors, fabric scissors, this is the key fob holder, and then a little lobster clasp. I have a ruler. This clamp is used to close up the key fob when it is finished. And I just have an iron here to iron out the fabric before I sew it together. The last thing that you'll need is a sewing machine. So I just have the Singer Heavy Duty Sewing Machine. As you can see, I already have my purple thread in here so it can match the color of my fabric. I am starting out by measuring 12 inches by 4 inches of my fabric. Now I'm going to cut the fabric that I just measured out, the 12 by 4 inches. So the fabric is a little bit folded up because I had it stored in my shelf. So I'm going to have to iron it out so it can be straight. And then I'm just going to cut off the other side here. So I already measured with my ruler the 12 inches by 4 inches. And now I just have a long rectangle here. I'm just waiting for my mini iron to heat up so I can iron my fabric. So as you can see, I cut my fabric vertical, but if you want the pattern to go horizontally, then you can cut it the other way instead. Now I'm just going to iron the fabric out so it's nice and smooth before I sew it up. I folded the fabric in half the long way and now I'm going to iron it again. I just unfolded the fabric and then I folded the ends into the middle. I'm just ironing it again. After I finish that, I just fold the two ends together. Now I just iron it one more time. I finished ironing the fabric together and now I'm just going to make stitches on both sides. I'm just going to use my sewing machine now to sew both of the ends of the fabric here. I'm using my trimming scissors to cut the end of the thread off. I just flipped the fabric over to the other side and you can see the stitch that I made. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side here. I finished sewing both of the ends together and now I'm just going to fold it in half and put the key fob on here. Make sure that these prongs go into both ends of the fabric so it's nice and secure. And I'm using the clamp here to close it off. And I'm just clamping it at the end here so it's nice and tight. And then the same on the other end.
Now I'm just going to add this lobster clasp to the end of the key ring. I finished making the key fob wristlet and here's how it looks. I just put this clasp on here and then it comes with a key ring and this is extra the lobster clasp that I added onto the key ring. I got most of my supplies on Amazon and I will leave a link down below where I got them so check it out. If you guys like this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel and comment down below. Bye!